guys, what's going on? This is another Airsoft Dude 1 production. Today I'm going to be doing a little um, MP7 video. And as you can see here, I do have two MP7s. Now, the ironic thing is both of them are currently out of uh, order and they are not working. That's because one of them, I, or, well technically I got both of them in a trade from the same guy. But one is just a parts gun, and the other one is a um, actual full-blown working gun when I got it. Now, he had done some work to it, and, you know, the way all that works, uh, it, it wasn't put together right, and it sheared the uh, bolt. So, the one that is, in fact, the normal one that I would use is this one. And you can, see, you can see that this one does have the bottom rail instead of the extendable grip here. Now, that I, I had my AFG on there. And the reason this one's a parts gun is because this part right here is broken. So, it, it, I like having two of the same gun. So, if anything specific goes down on it, I can uh, work on it. So, a little thing that I wanted to show you guys that I came across when I was just... Uh, looking around in my garage was I found my old AMP tactical tracer unit. Now, I was like, well, that's kind of uh, old, so let's see what I can do with it. Now, I put it on here and everything, and the, the problem is, is the threads are stripped in this, but these are fine. So, it doesn't really do anything unless I put duct tape around the threads so it actually grips. Uh, so, that is why it's all crooked and everything. So when you look here, this is the actual MP7 suppressor, the tactical one, and this is uh, the outside or the uh, inside for it. You can see it kind of has a really cool little design on the inside, so it makes a really cool noise. You take that off, and it's a really nice sound amplifier. You put it on, and it uh, pops really nicely, um, and you can put foam inside of it. Now. The whole main idea of this video was because I realized that this tube and this tube are the exact same diameter, or if they're not the exact, they are very close in relative size. And so I, I was messing around with all the different tubes and everything, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if this part would fit in here. So I slid this down inside, and it lined up just perfectly because actually this part right here unscrews. And you can tell that I do like suppressors a lot. And it's very similar, similarly constructed on the inside. When you look at this part right here, I do have uh, tape around here so it, um, so it seals better, I guess you could say. Right here, this little ring in there is just the rubber piece from this. And these two are very identical on the inside. Now, I don't know if that was, hey, someone should try and figure this out, or whatever, but I did. And I figured that this would help out a bunch of people, because I really like this suppressor, because depending on where you play, you can take it on and off really, uh, relatively quickly, just by pushing this in. So, I'm going to put it back on, and now I will do a video later, when I get some more Tracer BBs, of this on here. And now the only thing you have to do is make sure that clear tube is back through here a little bit so it is on the same path so the BB can hit, uh, fly through correctly. And then all you might want to do is put like a piece of cardboard in here that doesn't interfere with the path of the BB but is uh, like sitting on the rim because there is about a probably a centimeter gap. And then you can just screw this back on. And then your, your Special Forces uh, MP7 style only quick detach suppressor has become a uh, tracer. Which you can hear it sliding around inside there. That's why I said you might want to get that little piece of cardboard in there. But this is just a really cool little thing I came across. And um, I, I've seen a lot of people run this specific suppressor just because of this. And I realized this, so I uh, just wanted to get that out to you guys. Hope this helps somebody. Um, 
So yeah, if you uh, have any questions about this, it came with that, but I can answer any questions you have. I do have the uh, the aftermarket part for here, so you can put a normal suppressor on here. If you have any questions how to do that, take the sights off, take this front nose cap off. If you have any questions on an MP7, uh, I will probably be able to answer it. This gun will be up and running in a couple days, whenever I can get around to ordering a... Um, a new low power bolt. Uh, the guy is really cool. He gave me the money because um, he saw it break. So he gave me the money that it cost for the new bolt, which is like 40 bucks. So really cool guy. I really appreciate that if he's watching this video. So um, yeah, that's pretty much my MP7. I have five mags for it now, or five or six, and I love the gun. This is the only problem I've ever had with the three MP7s that I've owned. Very nice and well-built gun. This has been another Airsoft Dude 1 production. Make sure to check out my Facebook page and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.